Okay, POE kids, we have a first class lever here. Notice how it kind of looks like a seesaw. We've got the fulcrum and the balancing point between the two. And what we want to do is we want to find the IMA and we want to find the AMA. Now, by the formula that we had in class, the IMA is going to be I am a deer. So the ideal mechanical advantage is going to be equal to DE, the effort distance, over DR, the resistance distance. So what we're going to do is we're just going to measure these two spaces out. In this case, this is where I'm going to be pushing and the weight is going to be on the other side. So effort distance, because I'm actually putting effort onto it, and the resistance distance is going to be over here. That's where the weight's going to be. So like this. And you can tell that there's a little bit of heft to this. It's going to have to take me a little effort to be able to pull this up. Let's get an idea of what they look like. So oops, let's use the inch side. So on this side, it looks like we're about 3.75 inches. Uh, actually, I'd say more close to three and a half. So let's go three and a half for the effort distance. So the effort distance is going to be 3.5. The resistance distance is going to be, uh, let's measure this way. Let's go from the fulcrum out. It looks like it's going to be, the side's been cut. So it looks like it's going to be about six and a half. It's going to be 3.5 over 6.5 which is going to give you a, a ratio. Now these are both in inches, but the inches are just going to end up canceling out. So you've got inches on top, they go away, and you've got inches on bottom, so they go away. So your IMA is just going to be a simple ratio of 3.5 divided by 6.5. Whatever that number is, you need to report that to me. The AMA, what we're going to do is we're going to use the spring scale, and the spring scale is going to help us get a value for the effort force. The resistance force can be measured by using a scale or if you can use the spring scale to maybe like balance it up here, this would give you a value. Good luck getting that done though. I just put it on a mass balance and this comes out to be a um, resistance force. And the resistance force is the force of the actual weight. It's what resists you. Okay, so there's an effort force and that's the effort that you're actually gonna put into it. And then there's the resistance force, and that resistance force is the actual resistance, the thing that you are pushing against gravity or that you are trying to push against. So the resistance force in this case came out to about 238 grams or 2.38 newtons. I'll use newtons for force. And what we're going to do is we're going to try to balance this out. I have to make sure that my spring scale is at zero. It's a little bit... No, we're good. So I'm going to balance this out. And I'm going to try to get, now balancing this out, it comes out to about 4.9 newtons on balancing. So that's going to be my effort force. My effort force was how much I actually pressed down. So Fe is going to be equal to 4.9 newtons. So my Fr over Fe, because AMA will set you free is equal to the actual mechanical advantage. So we're going to take those two numbers. We're going to take the effort force and we're going to take the resistance force and we're going to divide them onto each other. So it's going to be 2.38 newtons divided by uh, 4.9 newtons. And ideally, what should happen in real life, now there, there's a couple of things that we're not really mentioning here. This lever has weight to it. It's made of steel. It's heavy. So ideally, if you're taking all calculations into consideration, the IMA should always be greater than the AMA. And when you run these calculations out, hopefully that's true. Uh, I tried to use a big enough weight to where that would actually come out. But if you're using a really small weight at home, then it might come out to where the AMA is greater. But what that means is that means that you either miscalculated or you're not accounting for all of the weight inside of the lever. And in this case, this lever actually has quite a bit of weight associated to it uh, compared to the object itself. So try these two out to find the ideal mechanical advantage and the actual mechanical advantage 
and here's our first class lever. I'm going to show you guys a second class lever once the classes get through with them tomorrow. Have fun!